Welcome, my name is Matt, or to be 34, and today I'll be showing you how to make specific blocks unbreakable and unplaceable in an area on your server. So for example, let's say you want to create a Bed Wars style game, so you need players to be able to break wood planks and place certain color wool, but not break other blocks that make up the map. You'll be able to do this after watching this tutorial. The first things we are going to need are plugins, and those are World Guard, World Edit, and script. Installing these varies depending on how your server is set up, although I'll leave the bucket download for all three of these in the description down below. If you are on Minehut, then you would just go to the add-on section and click install for World Guard, then World Edit, and then Script. You do not need any of the extra script plugins for this tutorial, you just need the general one. Once you have all the plugins installed, make sure to restart your server and verify that they are in fact installed. The first step is going to be creating a region with the wand, so type slash slash wand, then select your region by left clicking one corner and right clicking the other. Next, define it with a name you can remember. Now type slash rg flag, your region name, pass through allow. Next, do slash rg list and click info to confirm you have everything so far. If you want a tutorial that goes into World Guard a lot more, click the card on screen now. Depending on how you've hosted your server, this next step may look a little bit different. It is important that you log onto the server and keep it running in the background so it does not close while you're working with script. Since I'm hosting this server on Minehut, I'm going to head to the Minehut website and go to the server dashboard. With your server open, click the file manager and then the plugins folder. Then click the script folder. Next, click the folder that should have automatically been created called scripts. Ignore all these random files, they are just example programs. Make a new file and name it whatever you want. It will be quicker in the future if this file name is relatively short. So I'm going to name my new file tutorial.sk. Make sure to put .sk at the end of your file name. You can double click the sk file you just created to open up the area where you'll be typing some code. With Minehut, you may lose your progress if you haven't clicked save on your code and your server closes. To prevent this, click save often or save backups of your code. Next up, we are going to be typing out some code. The first bit of code I'm typing out is not necessary, but it will help you when testing your script. These lines will send a message indicating when you have entered and when you have exited a region, and it will tell you the name of that region. I've included the code in the description down below, although be very careful when copying this code, if you don't have exactly one tab here and here, the code will not work. Now click save on the code and go into your server. Type slash script reload, then the name of your script file. If you get any errors, try redoing all the spacing and making sure everything is spaced correctly. Once you reload the script, walk into the region you created before. The server should send a message letting you know you entered the region and what exactly that region is called. Exit the region to confirm this. Either write down or screenshot the exact name including this part. For the next part, we are going to prevent players from placing a certain block in a region we just walked through. In this case, I'm just going to pick sand. So I'm going to type on place of sand, then a colon. To figure out what the block name is, you can head to the link on screen now. This link gives a clear list of all the blocks and their ID. Only type the block name as shown in this column. If the block name has spaces, just type it with spaces, do not put an underscore. After you type this line with your block, Hit enter and tab once. Type the following text. This part here is what you just wrote down or screenshotted in the previous step. It is important that you type the entire region name. Next hit enter and tab once. Type cancel event and you're done. An optional thing you can add is this line of code. This line of code will use some color codes to send the player a custom message saying they cannot place the block in the region. Another optional line of code is this. This line of code will make it so ops can still place sand in the region, but non-ops cannot place sand in the region. If you are going to be adding this line, make sure you get your indentation correct. Now you can click save and open up your server again. Type slash sk reload, then name of your program. If you get an error like I did here, just go back to the script and redo all the spacing by deleting it and then hitting tab the correct amount of times. Now I'm going to test my code by first trying to place a sand block in the region as an operator. As you can see, I can place sand fine because I added this line, which exempts operators from the code. So to test it, I'm going to de-op myself in the server console, and now try placing a sand block in the region. As you can see, I am unable to place sand in the region as a non-op. 
Also, if you want to make it so sand, cactus, and sandstone slabs cannot be placed in the region, your code would look like this. If you wanted it to be the opposite, where the only blocks that could be placed in the region are those three, your code would look like this. And make sure you get your indentation correct. An easy way to check this is just to delete the indentation and re-indent it line by line. Now moving on to breaking certain blocks in a region. To make it so all players, including ops, cannot break sand in the region, your code would look like this. The only difference from the previous code is changing place to mine. And again, a few optional lines that you may want to add are as follows. This line sends the player a message telling them they can't mine that block in the region. And this line makes it so ops can still mine sand in the region. In the end, if you decide to put in the two other lines of code, make sure to save the code and then reload the script. With this code, ops should be able to break sand in the region, while non-ops should not. If you want it to be the opposite, where only sand can be mined, your code would look like this. And if you want to add more blocks to the list, just add or then the block names. One last example, if I wanted to change it where only oak planks and certain colored wool could be mined and placed in the region, my code would look like this. As you can see, this code can be modified to fit the many different needs for your server. With the code I just made, players can now only break and place oak planks and certain wool. A few reminders before I end this video, make sure to save your script after you've typed it, make sure the block names are exactly right, and it is important to indent correctly or you will end up with an error like this. Lastly, if you're working with a server hosting service like Minehut, you may want to copy your code and store it on your desktop just in case it gets deleted. That's it for this video. If you want to learn more about WorldGuard, click on the left end screen card. If you want to set up a free Minecraft server that can run 24-7 with Minehut, click on the right end screen card. Leave a like and subscribe if this video helped you. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to see something else done with script in the future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.